good one. I don't know, but you cut across that run. I think this might be my first time fishing the tippy this year. Yep. Hey, Sean. Good call on this, Greg. If you guys are interested in river fishing, smallmouth bass, creek fishing, wade fishing, if you like it, if you love it, if that's something you want to try to get into, I think you guys are going to get some value out of this video. Guys, today we're talking about something that I absolutely love to do, but something that's also pretty new to me, and that is river fishing. And one of my favorite things to do is to actually get in the water and go wade fishing. Me and my buddy Mike were able to meet up and go fish the Tippecanoe River, which is one of the best rivers here in Indiana. I'm blessed because it's only like 20 minutes from my house. One of the other things I want to talk to you guys about on this video is fishing confidence baits and why I believe you should fish them, especially if you're on a new body of water. If you guys are in the fall, transition and you're having a tough time on ponds and lakes like everybody else check to see if you have any rivers or creeks around you because let me tell you what the bite is not slow in rivers and creeks i don't have a ton of confidence fishing rivers because it's still kind of new to me but i got a ton of confidence fishing a spinnerbait one thing that i've learned regardless of where you're fishing fish your confidence baits because you fish them better than you do baits you're not familiar with good old bronze slammer Chartreuse and white should get it done. stuff for this food and so like that right there maybe if you can come over here on my left try it see where the ripples are a little bit they're over on the there's kind of an undulating ripple over yep. there yep. that's probably the deeper water and i would bet there's a big one sitting there yeah. yes good cat Quick release. Where'd he hit? Do you know? Right here. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, right at the edge, right where they come in. Yeah. Tail end of that tail end of this boulder. Okay, good. Fish on. Not, not here. Not a giant by any means, but the bronze slammer produces fish number one. Fish on. Yep, a little bit better. Yep, he was right by that lay down. He's definitely a little bit better in size. Something like that. 12, 13. Fish number two. Get up here, Mike. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you got it. I'm telling you something, though. Yep. That, that, that moving water, they're definitely looking to feed. Three in a row, here we go. Had, had a swipe at it. Hey guys, let's take a quick pause. Let's talk about confidence baits. Throw what you have confidence in because you are not going to be doubting yourself and that is going to translate and transmit to the lure itself. Spinner baits have always been a confidence lure for me. Here's a close up look of the MEPS Bronze Slammer. It's just a beefed up version of the inline spinners that many of us grew up fishing, whether it's a rooster tail or a Panther Martin. Talking about some other confidence baits for me, for river systems right now, I also know that I'm gonna catch fish on a three inch swim bait. And if I really need to 
to tick those rocks and crawl around those rocks, I'm fishing a shad style bait. Up here in Indiana on the rivers for smallmouth, they crush baits like this. If you guys are getting some value out of this video, do me a huge favor, smash that like button. That's gonna tell YouTube that I've put together a good video, people are enjoying it, and they're gonna push it out to the rest of the masses. I would really appreciate it if you did that. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. Little guy was in a hole with two others. Maybe flat inches. He's got that little. I wouldn't even. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best ones yeah. to get you off Yeah. Um, and even I haven't even heard from Jim in a while. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing the other day. Tiny, tiny. Fish. He's got some good colors. Easy, easy, buddy. Come on now. Come on. The goal is to get you off the hooks and not hook me. Good call on this, Greg. Fish on. Good. Ooh. Good one. I don't know, but you cut across that. Run. No. <laughs> Nothing huge, but he was just booking. He was booking. Cool. I guess you chacho. I love, love, love me some river fishing. The day didn't end there. We got, ended up hopping on our kayaks, paddled up river. We ended up battling with some more fish. You guys are gonna see that in a new video coming up really, really soon, so stay tuned. I had a blast. I love that type of fishing. One of the things about fishing rivers is that there appears to be so many good spots and when you're floating past them, you, you can only hit a spot or two. And that's one of the things I love about wading is I can just slowly start to pick those spots apart because majority of times there's fish there they may not hit it on the first cast they may not hit it on the second or the third cast you may have to switch up a bait and boom next thing you know you're tangling with an 18 or 19 or a 20 inch smallmouth and let me tell you that is something that everybody needs to experience especially a river fish i gotta get out of here i gotta go be a dad i gotta go edit more videos because i'm running behind i really appreciate you being here i'd love to know what you guys thought of the video i'd love to know what you think about river fishing creek fishing if you do this kind of fishing i'd really like to know where you do it and if you're in the indiana area and you ever want to get together hit me up on instagram hit me up on facebook i'm always down to get together and do some fishing i gotta go Take care. See you on the water.